one of the things you can do with a margin account is short selling. This is a strategy that's generally used by many experienced investors, and the point of it is to try and profit if a stock drops in price. What is short selling? Usually, when you buy an investment, like a stock, you do it hoping you'll make money by selling it at a higher price. This is called going long. Shorting or short selling is the opposite. In fact, you're selling a stock you don't actually even own yet, with the goal that you'll make money if it goes down in price. How can you sell something you don't even have? You borrow it. Let's say ABC1 Corporation has been doing really well and their stock is currently priced at $100 a share. But based on some recent news reports, you think the tide will turn and the stock price will drop. In fact, you think this is something that will happen soon and now you want to short ABC1 Corporation. Basically, you believe the stock price is overvalued and a downward movement in price is coming. To short the company, first, you need to borrow the shares from your broker's inventory. Let's say it's 100 shares. They loan them to you, and you then sell those shares of the market for $100. At this point, you receive $10,000 cash for the sale, but you're short the stock. And you now owe 100 shares back to the broker because, remember, they lent them to you in the first place. Later, if your prediction is right and the stock drops, let's say to $90, then you would buy back your 100 shares from the market at that lower price. Next, you return the shares to the broker and keep the price difference as your profit. You just made $1,000 shorting ABC1 Corporation. Your hunch has quite literally paid off. But what if things don't go your way and the company's stock rose from $100 a share to $120. If Rio ran through that scenario again, what would happen? First, you borrow 100 shares from your broker, and then you sell them for $100 a share. But now, uh-oh, the stock price jumps up $20. If you buy back the stock at this price, you'll lose $20 for every share that you sold. The shares you repurchased are then returned to your broker, but you absorb the loss. But what if you didn't end up buying those shares back and the stock just kept going up and up and up? The thing about short selling is that it's incredibly risky because theoretically, there's no cap on how much you can lose. If ABC1 stock rose $50, you'd owe $50 per share. If it rose 75, you'd owe 75 per share. If it rose 100, you see where I'm going with this. You can place short orders on any of our platforms, but let's walk through an example on WebBroker. In your order ticket, choose your short account. The account ending with the letter G represents the Canadian component of your short account, and the H represents the US component. This will change the sell button to short sell and buy to buy to cover. Key in your details. Select short sell to short the stock or buy to cover if you wish to reduce your short position. All shorting must be done in your short accounts. You can't short sell in any other accounts. If you're short selling, the broker's inventory will be checked for available shares to borrow before your order is sent to the market. If there aren't any shares available to borrow, then the order won't go through, and you'll receive a message indicating why. You also can't short stock that has a 0% loan value. This is a stock that has a 100% margin requirement. In other words, you're required to pay for the entire order on your own. You can't borrow funds. If you're interested in short selling, you can request to add this feature when you apply for a new margin account. If you already have an existing margin account, call to speak with an investment representative to get the short feature added. In our next video, we'll dive a little deeper and explore how short selling is reflected in your margin account balances and how it affects them overall.